Power by Eagle Tech. Welcome to our top five beginner SPS corals. Did you know there are over 6,000 coral species around the world? Those corals fall into two categories. They are either hard corals or soft corals. The main difference is that hard corals have a calcium carbonate skeleton, and those are broken down into two more categories, LPS, large polyp stony corals, and SPS, small polyp stony corals. We've heard from many beginner hobbyists that they are too nervous to try SPS corals due to these corals requiring a more mature system and stable water parameters. We are here to show you there's nothing to be scared of. Number five is Valida acropora. These species of acropora grow in a tree-like pattern with thin branches and well-spaced coralites. In the wild, they are found from the surface down to a depth of over 30 feet deep. They are a fast grower with great coloration. They can tolerate some fluctuations in water chemistry, but in a mixed reef, they still require good flow and quality lighting. Some of the familiar varieties of Valida acropora are the WWC Blueberry Fields, Ore Tricolor, and Garf Bonsai. Number four on our list is the Green Slimer. The Bali Green Slimer has been in the aquarium industry for over 20 years. This acropora has a bright green color and it grows rapidly in a stag horn pattern with elongated branches. In the wild, it is one of the most dominant SPS corals growing in a dense thicket, almost making its own SPS forest. These corals can be found near the surface or as far down as 65 feet deep. The green slimer gets its name from the slime it releases after being out of the water during a water change or from stress, such as fragging. Unlike the other corals on our beginner SPS list, this one comes in two color variants, green and blue. The green slimer enjoys good flow, moderate to high lighting, and it should be placed near the top of a mixed reef tank. Number three on our list is a Monopora digitata. This SPS coral is easy to distinguish by its thicker branches and short fuzzy polyps. There are a wide variety of colors, and we even offer a grafted version that's orange and green. Once established, the structure of the colony will be affected by flow and placement. It is a rather peaceful coral and will grow rapidly if given the right conditions. Medium lighting and medium flow is all it needs. However, it will adapt to higher lighting and flow, giving it more options for placement in the reef tank. Some varieties include WWC Contraband Grafted Digitata, my personal favorite, Forest Fire Digitata, and Bubblegum Digitata. Number two is the Bird's Nest Coral, or Seriatopora. This coral can be found in the wild from Africa throughout the Indo-Pacific, and it can be found at the surface all the way down to 115 feet. Bird's Nest has the largest wild distribution of any coral on this list. It gets its name from the layers of intertwined branches. It requires medium flow and contrary to what you may have heard about SPS corals, bird's nest doesn't require high lighting. There are lots of varieties of bird's nest corals and some of our favorites are the ORA Birds of Paradise, WWC Muy Verde, and Tyree Ponpei. Number one is the Stylophora. But we would like to mention Posilopora because of its similarities. They are native to the Red Sea and Indo-Pacific regions and are found from the surface to 65 feet deep. Like bird's nests, they don't require very high lighting and can do well in moderate flow. You should see a lot of polyp extension and these corals come in a variety of colors. They are very peaceful, but keep in mind you will want to give them plenty of space to grow as they will shade their slower growing neighbors. They are also known to spawn in a fully mature home aquarium where they will settle in previously uncolonized areas of a reef. Examples of these corals include WWC Blue Stylophora, WWC Goblin Stylophora, and WWC Rainbow Posilopora. That's our top five list of the easiest to keep SPS corals. Let us know if you had success with these corals or if you have any questions. If you have learned something from this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos.